Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a huge home decor haul for you from the Pier 1 going out of business sale. I did quite a bit of shopping there, several different trips. So I'm going to show you the collective haul of everything I bought at their going out of business sale. There's so much stuff, so let's go right ahead and get started. When I walked into Pier 1 the first time, the thing that caught my eye was the huge wall of pillows. So I bought a bunch of pillows. This is the first one that I bought. Some are gonna be for summer and some are gonna be for fall. So I'm gonna show you the summer ones first. And I'm calling these summer, but really I feel like they're year round and that's one of the reasons I bought them because I wanna add more blue into my home year round and I really feel like it's a neutral color. So this one is a cream background. I really looked for pillows that had a cream background because that's really what's more in my sofas than a pure white. And then this one just has a little bit of white stitching and then the different shades of blue just kind of crisscross. I thought this was a good neutral pillow that would work with most any other pillow that I got. And the other thing about all of the pillows that I'm gonna show you um, is they all came with the full pillow, but they do zip. So you can take the pillow covers off and I think this is gonna be great for storing them. And I'm probably not even gonna keep all of the pillows because most of them are the same size. So I'll be able to switch them in and out like that. And then just storing the covers will be much easier. And the other thing about the Pier 1 pillows is I feel like the quality is top notch. So definitely go check out and see what they still have in your local stores if you are looking for some pillows. Next, I found this beautiful pillow. It has the navy stitching across the top, and then I loved the design that it has on it. I thought it was just very elegant, and I just really liked it. And then it also has these little silver beads on it. So I thought also the gray and the cream background and then the different blues just allowed it to work with a lot of different color schemes so i was loving this one i think i'm going to use this in our media room um, i don't have my drapes in there yet but i took a picture of the fabric of the drapes and i looked at this pillow with that and i think it's going to work really well so that's where i'm thinking i'm going to use this pillow right now i also found this pillow which i really liked again i felt like it was just a good neutral background it's a woven texture so that's another thing is I wanted to get pillows that had some texture to it so this part is kind of woven and then I like just the stripes coming through with the different shades of blue I feel like it works really well with this one and even the one that I've already showed you so I just feel like getting these pillows I'll be able to mix and match and that's not all, I still have more. The next blue pillow is this one. Again, it sort of has what feels like a woven texture because it has these little parts that pop up. I don't know what you call this detail. If anybody knows, let me know. But it's um, when you touch it, it's not smooth. You can definitely feel the texture on here. And then I like this one because it has tassels. I'm not big on things like tassels, but for a nice mix with the other pillows, I really liked it. I thought that was nice. And again, you can see the back, it's more of that cream background. So that's what I looked for in all of my pillows. The next pillow that I got for summer, this is the last one in the square, but I have one more. And again, I'm saying summer, but year round. I really liked the stripes on this one and how it had all the different shades in it. So I feel like it's gonna work well with all of the pillows, but I especially think it works well with this one. And I'm leaning towards putting these two together in the media room. And I also love the more masculine look of this one with the stripes and then the feminine look with the flowers. So I feel like that works really well together. So let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like these two together? Cause that's what I'm leaning. And then I'm thinking I'll use the other ones on the sofa in my living room or just some chairs or beds throughout the house. That's the thing about these pillows is I feel like it just gives you lots of options. The last pillow I got with the blue theme is this one. I thought this was so pretty. 
Again, I love all the different details and textures on this pillow. It also has more of a cream background. So I thought it would work on either of the sofas with either combination of the pillows that I do. And I already had some blue pillows, so this is gonna work well with the ones that I already had also. I only picked up one of these pillows, but all of the square pillows that I just showed you I picked up two of each. I believe the pillows were 25% off, so I felt like I got a good deal on most of these. There were a couple of the pillows, more so in the fall ones I'm about to show you, that I felt were a bit pricey, but the quality is still really good, and I felt like I got a good deal for the quality of the pillows. I also picked up a few fall pillows, so that's what I'm showing you now. This is the first one. I only got one of these. I wanna say they only had one. So I'm thinking I can use this one in one of my chairs since I only have one of it. But this burlap stitching on the side and then just the cream color but with the nice texture, I thought this would work really well in my living room with all of the other furniture that we have. Um, this pattern and color scheme pretty much matches my sofa. So I just think it's gonna look really good in my living room. I also picked up two of these. This is from the Magnolia Home Collection. I was gonna say Joanna Gaines, but it's the Magnolia Home Collection. Again, guys, you cannot beat the quality on these pillows. I think they're so well made. They're very thick material. So I think they're gonna wear well. This one has the tassels, so like I said, I'm not a huge tassel person, but I did think they were cute on here. And I'm calling these fall pillows because that's probably how I'm going to use them, but I think you could use these pillows year round. And I did set up all the pillows in the store as I was looking at them. I would prop them up, look at them next to each other to make sure that I like them together because I'll probably be using them in the same room. And I just wanted to make sure everything looked cohesive and worked nicely together. The next pillow I found is this one. And this one is just velvety soft on the front side. And then you have this, I feel like this could be a reversible pillow. Um, and this is just like a linen type texture. So you could use it on either side. I love the velvety side and I feel like it works really well with this Magnolia Home Pillow. So I'm thinking this is gonna be what I go for for fall. I'm not ready to decorate for fall yet. Quite, quite yet, getting close, but I thought this would work really well. This is the last pillow I bought. This is also from Magnolia Home. Again, the quality on this is just top notch. I thought the texture on this, again, would be perfect for fall, winter. I also think this is a good winter pillow. So I like to buy things that work for more than one season. And I feel like most of the things I bought could work for multiple seasons. So that's what I was going for. But I just feel like these are really classic pillows that I'll be able to use year after year. And I want to say again on this one, they might have only had the one because I think I would have bought two if they had more. I don't remember, but I want to say they only had one of this one as well. The next thing I saw that really caught my eye were the lanterns and all of the lanterns were 40% off. I only have a few lanterns right now and they're very small. So I fell in love with these. Y'all know we just moved into the house and I'm working on decorating the entire house, including the patio. So I'm thinking that these will be perfect either by the fireplace on the patio or on a table for a tablescape or just um, actually on this buffet behind me. I thought it would look good. So I bought one of the larger ones. This was regular $60 and on sale for 35. And I also got the smaller one. And so this one was regular $50 and I was able to get that one for 40% off. So I thought the deal on the lanterns was just so good. I couldn't pass it up. 
I thought about getting multiples of these instead of just a set. Um, and I didn't, and I'm kind of regretting it. My store currently still has some of the larger ones, at least they did the other day when I was there, but they were all sold out of the smaller ones. But I think either the large or the small, but particularly the small, if you had three of these, along a table for a tablescape. I just think it would be beautiful. And again, I love that these are seasonless. You could use these with practically any holiday, any season, specifically for fall, since they have the wood handle as well. But I think in general, these would work any time of the year. And that's one of the things I really liked about them. And you can just change up what you put inside if you like to decorate and do things like put pumpkins inside for a holiday or if you like to make bows and put bows on them, decorate the lantern other than just putting a candle. I think these would be fabulous for all different types of decoration and like I said, pretty much any season. I could see using these for Christmas and throughout the winter. So I'm really excited about these. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna land on these yet but I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. So the next lantern that I got is this one, and I don't know if you would think of this more as a lantern or a hurricane, but either way, it's beautiful, and I knew immediately this was gonna be great for my fall decor. So it has this piece that comes out, and you can just put the candle in here. You could do so many different things for decorating the inside of this, with a candle. I also like the fact that this piece comes out because this would work beautifully as a vase just by itself. So I feel like this piece is so versatile and with the gold on it, I feel like it's gonna work really great in lots of spaces in my house. I can envision using this in my dining room or in my living room. I have a lot of fall decor that has this exact same color and design. So this is gonna look great for fall, but again, pretty much year round that you would be able to use this, especially if you took this piece out and still either just use it as a hurricane or a vase, it would work throughout the year. Next, I found this hurricane vase and I just loved it. It has the gold trim on the bottom and then it has the little place in the bottom for the candle. It's not all that sturdy, it doesn't sit flat, so I'll either have to figure out a way to make the candle sit flat or just take it out and figure something else. But I thought you could decorate this. Again, this is gonna work so well in my house, pretty much in any room of my house. I could use it for tablescapes or just for decorating. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted to get more than one. So I have this one and this is a larger size. And then I ended up getting this one too. You can see the difference in size of these. I actually found this one first and originally bought two of them. And then I wanted to go back and get a third one because I was thinking for a tablescape, I wanted to be able to put three on the table. And then I went back to the store and I ended up grabbing this one, not realizing it was a little bit larger, but I still think it works because I could put it like this with the two on each side and the height difference actually still looks really nice. I've mentioned to you before that I love buying things like this in multiples because I feel like it gives me so many different options of how I can use them. I can spread them out throughout the house or I can use them together to give a lot more impact. I kind of wish they were all the same size, but I'm not hating the fact that the one is a little bit larger. Either way, I think it's gonna work. The next thing I found was this mosaic vase. It's got the golden brown and some green and blue, and it really depends on the light as to whether it looks more green or more blue, but I thought this would work perfectly in this room possibly in the media room, or again, so many places in my house. I could use this for a tablescape. So very versatile, and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. But one thing about it was, while I like it by itself, I thought it would be really pretty to set on a candle stand. So I also picked up this mercury glass candle stand 
because let me see if I can do this for you. Yeah, I thought that would look really, really pretty. And then like perhaps sitting on the buffet behind me or on a table somewhere. I just think it's so pretty. And again, you could put flowers in it. You could put candle in it. I'm thinking it would look really nice with the candle that would glow through the mosaic. Um, so that's probably how I'm going to be using it. But I just thought it was gorgeous and I had to get it. Since I was buying all of the lanterns and hurricanes, I decided to go ahead and stock up on some candles. Pier 1 has beautiful candles. So I got two of these in the cream this size and then I got four of the smaller size. So these are actually wax on the outside and I love that because they feel real and I like the way they flicker as well. The other thing that I love about these is they are on timers or you can buy a remote control, which I did buy a couple remote controls separately to be able to do it that way. Um, and they had both the candles and the remote controls. So I was excited about that because it gives you a lot of options of how to use them. I haven't set them up yet, so I'm not sure how long exactly the timer is. I couldn't find anywhere where it says how long the timer is, but usually they're about six hours. So you turn it on, whatever time you want it to come on and then it usually runs about five to six hours and then it will automatically turn off and come on at the same time the next day. So I got these in the cream. I also got a smaller version in the cream. I got four of these and then I also picked up four white ones in this size. So I think that stocks me up pretty well on the candles and then I also got these smaller one pack of four in the white and one pack of four in the cream. So again, I feel like this gives me a lot of variety for how I can use them. And I know this is something that I don't mind buying and investing in knowing that I'm going to use it for years to come. Since I love to do tablescapes, another thing that I like to buy when I find some that I really like are tea light candle holders. So I found this set and this is what it looks like. It's a green leaf and I just think it is so cute. Tea light candle holder. So I ended up buying two sets of these. They came in a pack of three. So that gives me six total. Again, I love buying things like this in multiples because I have so much variety of how I can use them, especially if I'm going to do a tablescape. I need usually anywhere from four to six to be able to lay out and make a nice table. So I love these. And then you can also spread them around the house like I talked about before. And so you just have so many options when you go ahead and buy a nice set of these. So I also found these that I thought were so pretty. So this is a blue color and it reminds me of a beehive. So anyway, I thought these were so cute. It works really nicely with all of the blue pillows that I bought. And if you're doing blue decor in your house, I think these are just really cute. And these were $5 and I think they were on sale for 20 or 25% off. And um, they also had I want to say they had larger ones. If they weren't like this, they were had blue in a different, maybe a different style um, that were larger than these, but I only got the small ones. I also picked up these. I think they are so pretty. I love the blue and white and the silver. I know I'm going to be able to use these and make some fun tablescapes with this. I can envision a coastal tablescape using these and that's why I bought them and of course, I did my multiples, I got six of them because I can use them on the table or spread them out around the house, put them in little vignettes. There's just so much you can do with this. And while these are tea light candle holders, I have some other ideas of how to use them too. So y'all are gonna have to stay tuned because I'm gonna be using these actually pretty soon. I'm gonna use this for a tablescape and show you a different way to use it besides 
a tea light candle holder. Speaking of coastal, how cute are these? They had these in blue and white, and I just love the blue. Normally I gravitate towards white, but for these, I thought the blue were so much cuter. So I picked up these two. So I believe this is the small one, and this is the large one. There was a medium size, but it was kind of weird because where these look like they're swimming the same direction, the medium was going the opposite direction. I probably would have gotten it too had it been going the same direction, but since it wasn't, I didn't get it. So you see in the back, it's the tea light candle holders. I think they're gonna shimmer through these holes. The light is gonna look so good. So I'm excited to incorporate these into a tablescape. Maybe not until next summer, but I know I'll get tons of use out of these. And for tables, just setting again in a vignette or on a coffee table, I think these would be so cute. I ended up buying two of the large and two of the small. I couldn't pass up these glimmer light strings. So I got two different kinds. This one is an olive tree branch and this one is gold. Um, let me turn it around so you can see. So it's a gold leaf with the lights and little crystal beads on it. I'm not gonna take this one out of the box, but I've already taken this one. I bought two of each. So this is what the olive branch looks like. And then the gold one looks pretty much like it looks here. So it's metal and it bends. So they're gonna be very versatile in how you can use them. I could see putting these in some of the lanterns or the hurricanes and then putting the candle in there and it's just gonna give you all of this glow and all the light. Or I could also see using this on a tablescape as kind of a garland throughout whatever your centerpiece is. And I loved the gold because again, this would work for Christmas. I think the leaves are neutral enough. They don't specifically say any season to me. So I think this would work for Christmas or fall, any time that you would wanna use this on a tablescape or like I said, in these lanterns, I think it would be so pretty. I also felt like the olive was pretty much year round too. I think you can use olive leaves any season, but especially for the late summer, fall, I think this is gonna be perfect. When I first went to the store, I thought, I'm decorating my house. I'm not gonna worry too much about tablescapes. I'm just gonna buy bigger items like the pillows and the lanterns and things like that. And then I saw all of the table decor and that's what Pier 1, for me, that's what I've always known Pier 1 for. And so I just broke down and I was like, okay, build your tablescape collection even more. So I went a little bit crazy. I did buy quite a bit. Um, I bought several table runners. So this is the first one that I bought and I think it's so pretty. I love this for a coastal table. Um, and there's a story behind this. I will tell you the story in just a minute, but I love that it has the nice trim and the three different colors. Again, I think this is gonna be very versatile for indoor or outdoor use. Part of what I'm thinking is a lot for outdoors because I'm excited at some point we're gonna be getting a table for our patio and I cannot wait to decorate this. So in the summer, I think this is just gonna be gorgeous for an outdoor tablescape, but of course it would work indoors as well. And again, the thing with Pier 1 when it comes to things like their table runners, I just feel like the quality is very high and this is gonna last me for years. All right, here's the next one and here's where the story comes in. As you can see, it's also blue, white, and beige. So it's very similar to the last one, but I will hold them up together so you can see the difference. They're not exactly the same. This only has the three colors. This has the baby blue. But what happened is I meant to get one of these. I'm not sure which one I had picked out initially, but I had picked out one of these and needed to get two because my table is so long that I always have to get two table runners and then end up overlapping them. And even if I wanna use it in here on the round table, I still need two to be able to have it look right. So I 
must have grabbed the wrong one. So whichever one I initially intended to get, I ended up grabbing one that I thought was the same and it turns out it wasn't. When I got home, I realized that. So I'm like, okay, gotta go back to the store. I set, showed this on Instagram and I asked everybody on Instagram, which one, if they happen to have them both, which one should I get? And I'm thinking they're not, no way are they gonna have both of these in stock for me to get both of them. Um, or to be able to pick. But everybody on Instagram, the majority of people said to pick this one. Well, when I get there, lo and behold, they had one of each left. One of each, that's all they had. And I thought, okay, that has to be a sign. And I figured I had already bought the one, so I either got the matching one and was able to use it, or I didn't get it. So I ended up getting both. And as you can see, I don't really care that I got both because this one has a totally different feel. I feel like this is a bit of a more casual vibe with the baby blue and the blue in this, I'm not sure how well you can tell, but this is definitely more of a navy blue and this is more of a teal blue. So I think they're both beautiful and both will work in my home. And I think I'm gonna be able to use both of these and perhaps even use one indoors and one outdoors and they'll complement each other beautifully. For the most part, when I buy decor like this, I try to think about different seasons when I would use it. And sometimes I'll buy something just for a season, but I do like to buy things that I think could be versatile. So this is another table runner that I bought and it's just white. It's more of a cream color white with these green leaves on each side and then again the nice green trim at the bottom I'm trying to hold it so you can see it really well i thought this was so pretty and i thought this would be perfect for spring for sure also summer but i think you could even use this in fall if you went with some greens and maybe even some blues for fall that this might be really pretty i'm not sure if i will be using it this fall or not but i definitely think you could and i'm not sure if i would use this one in winter but i think most of the other seasons you could actually get away with using this one but i thought it was beautiful and classic and would give lots of different options for different things you could do to decorate your table. I don't have anything like this, so when I saw this green and cream plaid, I decided that I really wanted to get it. Again, I envision this for fall being so pretty. I think you could mix this with oranges, or if you were doing some type of a neutral fall decor, this would be absolutely beautiful. I think green still works really well in fall done right. And again, I think there's just so many different options. I can envision this in a very traditional fall decor, but I can also envision it more modern with neutral colors. And I think the green would just provide the classic background and the plaid is just always gonna be classic. And then it has the fringe at the bottom that I thought just added a nice touch and it finishes it off. And again, this is the type of material that I don't even worry about ruining this material. This is so durable. So this is gonna last forever and it would be perfect again for indoors or outdoors. And when I say outdoors, I would not leave this just sitting out for long periods of time but just for an evening, for dinner, I think this is gonna be perfect. The last table runner I picked up is this blue and white. I just thought this one was so fun. I love the denim look on the edges. I think this one would work really well with my denim placemats that I use all the time. And it has the little blue squares in it that I think is pretty. But for blue and white, I'm doing a lot more blue and white in my house these days. So I just liked having this more um, casual option and then it has the red tassels honestly I'm not sure if I like that on one hand I think it's cute like say for 4th of July or something but in general I'm not sure I like the red tassels um, but we'll see I don't know if I'll take them off I could always switch them out for a different color but again I think this is a very casual everyday if you were looking for something like that Actually, I forgot, I did have one more table runner that I bought 
So I bought this one. It's just um, a khaki and cream color. So again, very neutral. I think will work indoors or outdoors. There's so much you could do with this. I feel like this could be dressed up or dressed down depending on what type of table you wanna do. This would also work for the multiple seasons. These are very similar to the white ones that I have on my table that was I used for my most recent tablescapes. And I just think they're gonna be very versatile. And these are some I could use and even leave on my table long-term. Uh, I think these would work throughout the different seasons and always look good on my table for every day. So that's kind of what I was thinking and why I decided to go ahead and get these two. I skipped the placemats, but I did decide to get some napkins. So I ended up getting two sets of the white. The reason I got two sets was because I wanted to have six and they only came four to a pack. So I ended up getting two of just the plain white. This is a very lightweight fabric, so these are gonna be easy to fold for different type of napkin folds. And white, I actually don't have any good white napkins other than my holiday napkins, which I've used for other seasons, even though they have poinsettias on them, or um, my everyday that I don't use for dressing up a table because they just are too casual for that. So I thought these would be perfect. And again, these would work for being casual or more elegant, depending on how you're gonna set your table. I also found these, which I really liked. So it has the two different shades of blue, and then it has the fringe on it. And again, while this looks really casual, I feel like you could dress it up and make it pretty elegant as well. This was on clearance above their regular going out of business, so I got a really good deal on these. Unfortunately, they only had one, so I was only able to get four of them. I would have scooped up the second one in a heartbeat if they had had it. The last napkin I got was this one, and again, for the same reason as the white, I didn't have anything like this, and it's just the khaki color. It's a little bit of a plaid design to it, and I just think it works for every day. It works really well with my table. I think it would work really well with these placemats that I got. So since I didn't have anything like this, and I love the lightweight fabric of it, and just how soft and pliable they are, I went ahead and got a set of six of these. All right, now y'all know I couldn't leave the store without buying a couple of plates, right? <laughs> So I found these plates, it's a set of four, and it comes in different designs. So this shows all of the different designs of the plates, but I'll take it out here and show you. I just wanted to show you how it came in the set. So this is one design, and then a second design. the third design, and the last design. So I love that these are all different. So it gives this nice mix match place setting, which I actually think brings so much interest to a table. So I was really loving that. I like the shade of blue. I think it's perfect. I think this is gonna work really well with all the pillows that I bought, with all of the different table runners that I bought. I think I'll be able to use them. The ones that have the blue and white. Maybe not the one with the teal blue as much, but the other two for sure. Since they only had a set of four, I thought that would be great for in here, but they also had this stripe pattern, which I thought the colors worked really well. So I went ahead and picked up some of the stripe too. So that way I could use these four and then add the stripe and it would give a lot of interest to my larger table. So I would have the four different ones and then two stripes at my two center seats. And then because I wanted the option, I went ahead and bought four more of these. So I bought a total of six of these so I would have different options on how I could use them. The last plate, I could not resist. I thought this was so beautiful. So I want you to really see the color. So it has the gold trim. It's kind of a brownish gold. And then it's a greenish. Again, it's like a greenish brown gold and then kind of a blue. Um, 
I can't think of the shade of blue that this is called, but anyway, it's got the blue and the green, and I think it's just gorgeous. I have some other plates that I had picked up at the thrift store that are just slightly smaller than this that I think will work well with this plate. I didn't pull them out to show you. I could not pass these up. I just thought they were the most beautiful plate. And again, the quality is so good. So I know these are gonna last forever. And I can see using these um, throughout different seasons as well. And I can see using this almost as an everyday type plate. It's just so pretty. I told you it was gonna be a big haul. I got so much stuff, but I'm really excited because I know all of the lanterns, the vase, and all of the pillows I'm just gonna use throughout my home and it's gonna help my house look more cohesive. It's gonna help me decorate some of the places I haven't been able to decorate yet. And then also, those are things that, like I, I know I keep saying this, but it's just so true. I like buying things that are a large scale and that have multiple purposes and multiple seasons. And I feel like most of what I bought, I can use throughout the entire year if I wanted to. And the scale of the items that I bought is good. So like these hurricanes, they're just a great scale that makes it look more high end. And this is something that I will keep and use over and over and can decorate in so many different ways. Whether you wanna to go to Pier 1 and see if they still have some of this in your area, or whether you just got ideas to look at other places for things that might be similar, or just ideas for what types of things you wanna look for for your home. I hope you got that out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and join our community and make sure to turn on your bell notifications when you do. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.